Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today's look is this Spotlight Eye. It has a little bit of glitter. I am going to be using the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air Palette. This is so pretty. Come on. Like if you saw this, would you not buy it? I think the shades are really good. When I first got this, I was, you know, it looks so pretty. You can go from day to night. That's, that's good. <laughs> Let's Find out how we got this look because I think I was just winging it to be honest. <laughs> For a shadow primer, I am using the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. This is something that I used to use a lot as you can tell. But I don't know, I stopped using it. Maybe because there's none more. Ooh. Do I still have it if it has nothing on it? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a lot. The first shadow I am using is this transition shadow, is the one on the bottom. And I am getting it with the Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease. A 38. That was a lot of words. The 38 brush. This color is going to be like my transition color, so I'm blending it in the crease, but as you can see, it's a big fluffy brush, so it's going to help me blend it higher without doing too much work. I like this color so much. Sometimes for work, I just put this all over my eye, put some mascara, and then go. Using the same brush and the same shadow, I'm going to get it on the very tip of the brush, and put it under my eye. I know some people don't like using big brushes, but I feel like if I put it on the tip of the brush, it's doable. And I always like to connect the bottom shadows to the top. It just makes everything look so seamless. All right, now that that's done. I am going to be using these two. I'm mixing these two colors. This one and this one. And I'm putting that on a Luxie 249 brush. It has two ends. I'm using the big blending end, not the flat one. I'm focusing this one more into the crease, but I'm leaving the middle of my lid blank. I'm not going to put any eyeshadows. So I'm going to put it um, more in the crease, but kind of in the ends, I guess, of my eye. So just mixing those two colors. Going back with that previous Sephora 38 brush, I am blending those colors out. Now I want to get a smaller blending brush. This is a Morphe E17 and I am using this dark brown. I noticed when I was doing this side with that dark brown that it's very dark and pigmented so be careful <laughs> and I'm only gonna put a little bit on this outer edge of that dark brown and like I said I'm putting little by little because I'm scared to mess it up by putting a lot of dark I'm also gonna put it right here kind of by the inner corner I think just like two dips two three dips and tapping it off and just a little bit was more than enough so with that I am gonna be blending it and I'm blending kind of like blending them together so they can meet each other but still leave, leaving the middle of my eye blink getting that Luxie 249 I'm going to blend out that darker color and just kind of mix it into the other shadows just to make sure that it's not that dark because I was not expecting that. That was like a pleasant surprise. If I ever want a dark eye, I know. Using that dark brown, just a little, I am putting it on my lower lash line. 
So blending it on the bottom and then going up to connect it with the shadows on top. With my finger, the brush that I'm going to use is my finger. <laughs> I am getting this shiny color. I think it's the only shiny color in the palette. No, there's two, but this is purple. So the non-purple shiny color. I'm using it on my finger to put right in the middle of my eyeball. That's why we left it blank. With the E17 Morphe brush, I am going to blend the edges of where I put that um, shimmery shadow. And nothing's on the brush, just with whatever is on there. That's my fave. So this came, this was in the impulse section at Sephora. As you can tell, I was impulsive and I bought it. But it comes with three. It comes with three little mini ones. These are the mini. And the one that I'm going to be using is called Kitten Karma. And this is just to put like an extra sparkle in the middle of my eye. So what I like to do is put a little bit on the back of my hand when I'm doing like little things like this, like a spotlight. Just so I can really control how much I get. I put a little bit on the back of my hand and get my finger and tap it. And then I tap it by my eye. There we go. I am going to get the Luxie brush and just kind of sweep away some of the glitter that I don't want. Like where I don't want it. So if it, I went a little too high. And then I'm also going to get the Morphe E17 brush and get a little bit of that dark brown again. And just kind of equal out the eyes. So that's what I'm doing. Just evening out the eyes, making sure they both look the same. So I have a lot of fallout and I am grabbing a NYX, um, what is this, HD finishing powder. Just so I can really like sweep off any glitter without disturbing my makeup. So I took off as much glitter or shadows as I could. I probably should have done my eyeshadow first, but oh well. And now I am going to highlight my inner corner with the same shadow that we used and just grabbing it on my finger and popping it on. This is the most expensive brush. I wonder how much a finger is actually worth, you know? You know, like someone would buy a finger. I love this shadow so much. I am going to get a Morphe E61 and just get it and apply it as a highlighter. I really like this. And I'm just putting a little because it is a little dark. But I got tan. Hey. But it is a little dark for my skin tone. But it's still, if I thin it out, it's really pretty. Giving my lashes a quick squeeze and using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. For lashes, I am using Lash Full Yours in the style Angelina. And I think this is their most popular style and it's for a good reason. They're very full and fluffy and nice and I've used them that's why they're all like But yeah, they're they're really nice. The lash glue should be dry now. Let's see So you know these are like an everyday Lash, you know just going to get groceries <laughs> for lips. I am using Kylie Jenner's no Kylie Cosmetics Malibu Lip Liner with CoverGirls 255 Tempting, what is this? Tempting Toffee. This is it for the look. This is the finished look. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys try it out. And like always, I will see you in my next video.